Yes. Choose it wisely. <laughs> you know. I vote. Yeah. No. That that one attack. That, I'm wondering uh, now. Um, that went downhill what, quickly. What do you think Jeff is thinking right now? You know, he uh, he came in here. What do I think Jeff is thinking? Jeff is thinking. You can probably ask him what he's thinking. Jeff is actually. thinking. Uh, 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 how much money can I possibly make tonight playing Hearthstone? That's what he's thinking <laughs> right now. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> <Hearthstone>. <laughs> Brutal honesty. But also, He's know, also probably thinking, what am I going to eat after this? True that. Which is what I'm thinking. I think that's right what you're now. thinking. I think you're just I've, thinking. I might be projecting. You know, are you guys linked uh, psychically? Uh, yes. Okay. Absolutely. I've he never been psychically linked to anybody My brother before. from another mother. I'm actually, uh, this is my spirit animal now. Well, I, I, I hope so. I so hard that Given we became you killed one. it. I didn't kill it. Oh, sorry, you petted I, it to death. Yes. Which again, jokes we can't use. <laughs> <laughs> You're in public. Distasteful. We're we now linked. Though. No, no. All the dreams that the uh, tiger did have are now mine. Are now I've yours. Adopted it. What? What were the tiger's dreams? Did it involve living longer than it did? It involved to be pet to death by me in order to be warm wow. in my head. So that was its goal. It was did life it goal. Well, it I actually it. did that hey. tiger a favor. I can't. Yeah, then I can't hate you. You exactly. you guided it to its 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 goal. And in it's life. amazing, you know, what what you do for uh, you know the wildlife. Hey. That's what zoos are for, right? <laughs> That's what zoos a are really for. nice lifestyle. Yonsu Ladder Edition. Now this map, uh, this is Maximus Black's uh, choice, I believe. Every time I see LE, I want to think limited edition. Me too. Something, just like, something like, special. Uh, and then I'm reminded that it's Starcraft. Large eel. Large eel. Large Lank eel. Lanky. Um, uh, I've, 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 That's a word. It is. We can make that it's a word. African. You're, oh, see? Yeah. See, nobody can dispute you. No. Nobody's going to tell you no. 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 Tempo, that's not an African <laughs> word. Somewhere, I didn't even have any. <laughs> somewhere, somewhere, somewhere in the world, that's Someone a word. Like, I know. Yeah, I, it's like, I know that word. I know that word. I just punched my microphone and everybody just died at home. That's it's unfortunate. All good. Just making sure y'all are awake out there. It's an expensive microphone. I don't want to ruin it. Very nice. Uh, this is a map that I'm actually impressed that Jeff is on right now. Yeah. Uh, it's not as, uh, as far as I remember, although, again, if you're playing Russian roulette, Okay. Uh, with maps that Jeff has vetoed. Ah. You're going to win almost every time. Yeah. Uh, he vetoes basically every map uh, <laughs> on, uh, on, the, on the ladder right now. But, and again, saying that, and I agree, that time warp, Jeff, Jeff was probably, his heart was probably like going at yeah. a thousand miles an hour because that time warp almost saved him. And he probably would have won the game yes. if that had gone better. I agree. Uh, that, he that he didn't was, have any sentries either. To, or at uh, the very least, it would have been a totally different Yes, outcome. it would have been. Because uh, when you use banelings like that, you know, once they're gone, they have to pay for themselves. Exactly. So he would have been left there with nothing. There were no spine crawlers at the natural. No. And a big thing th uh, there, too, is that uh, the stalkers were warping in at the time. So imagine if he was able to use the stalkers as some kind of meat shield. For the zealous. Well, that's what he was probably hoping to get. You could see Time as he was setting shipping, it up. Just couldn't get it there in time. Really nice attack, though, by Penguin. Yeah. I gotta give it up for him. What? Look at the water bottle service. So Ooh. good. Everybody, give him a hand for bringing me What's water. What's up, water man? Yes. Yes. He's not a water boy. He's yes, a water he's man. Yes, he's a water man. Wow. So good. You still haven't brought him a T-shirt. <laughs> you get the T-shirt first. Then you step up. All right, I'm going to grab a sip of this delicious water. It is. Mmm. It's very... Oh, that flavor. Wow. Mm, yeah, mm. that that tastes like... It's very hard to describe the taste of it. It though. tastes like the natural spring it's supposed to come from. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the natural spring in my bathroom. It rained quite a bit yesterday. Uh-oh, yeah. uh we got a oh. little bit of uh, action. A oh, 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 little troll bit of action here. Troll. Jeff just trying to, to troll oh, as long okay. as possible. He's not going to go for a denial. Doesn't seem like it. And is that a macro? Is that a... Ha what? Whoa, okay. And by macro hatch, I mean Sorry proxy hatch. for proxy hatching. He's about to... Uh, I don't know if he's doing this to just actually do it or will he just try to block something off i'm not well i mean what it, it's not exactly in the great blocking position yeah outside of the fact that i mean look the probe just got around it so it's, okay it's, so it, is, it is there to do terrible things to, to uh to jeff oh you know what though i think he's gonna distract him the Zel bob is not gonna do his job here oh, there's bob? six lings on the way that are gonna go into the main right now this is this is actually a an impressive maneuver here uh this if is anything weird uh, you know I'm just gonna just. I'm just. I'm, I'm, gonna, just, I'm just gonna let this happen. I'm just gonna watch. I'm just let this happen. Will Bob turn around in time? There okay, he is. He sees hit. the links. He knows. He sees the links. He might just decide to block with the probe instead. I don't know. There's he's gonna be able to the Oh no! no. Sour about that spawn oh, position. He's gonna cancel it to get the stalker up, Stalker's but he's not gonna, gonna, gonna be able to. He's gonna get it. All right. Oh wow! That is. That is well, those zerglings just paid for themselves. Yes. Note the pylon canceled. The pylon lost the, the stalker. Most cost <laughs> 
And but you know what? The hatchery has uh, finished here. Three, uh, I think he's going to go for three additional gates here. And Jeff is playing Ring Around the Rosie. Pretty much. With those Zerglings as the hatchery finishes. And you know what? The big thing here is that he's doing it. He's making these gateways right in the vision of Penguin. So Penguin knows what he's in for. But, I mean, what's Jeff going to well, do here? Well, at this point, it doesn't matter. All he needs to do is get a queen out of here. Uh-oh. Three more Lings are going to get in here. And this pylon is powering at least that gateway on the outer edge. Uh, dad Artosis. Oh, it's closer. Yep. Not uh -oh. quite a nice stalker there, though. That well, stalker knows how to spawn. That was a very, very well spawned stalker, I must say. <laughs> yeah. He put a, Steve put a lot of effort into thinking where he was going to go. If he loses that queen, that's actually huge and will likely stop. He's doing a little bit of uh, kiting here. Nice to run on those zealots. Uh, will he pull it back, though? I don't know if it can get out of range of that stalker. Though. No, uh -oh. he is that now. zealot is going to barely survive. And the queen just has nowhere to run. Four gateways here. Will he get the zealot? Uh -oh, no, he will you know not what? get the zealot. There's a proxy pylon on the map here for Jeff, uh, for Maximus Black. Yep. And That's... four gateways have just finished. Warp gate is finished, and there's no defenses here for Penguin. There's well, nothing. Uh, he, he expanded behind it, which is kind of crazy. There's um, nothing. Uh, there's nothing to stop any kind of aggression. And after having that zealot survive, he's now going to have four zealots, a couple of stalkers, I believe, will be the count. Uh, and gonna that's going to be very difficult to stop. Uh, there's enough zealots to, if they get there's here in time. Enough. Yeah, there's not in time. Uh, Jeff is probably going to focus the queens first. He's going to get rid of the queens. Uh, oh, he's going to cancel one. Gonna go down. Drones are getting pulled off of the line here. Another warp in. Uh, Proxy Paladin is a bit closer. These spine crawlers are not going to finish, and there's really nothing. There's no units here. Ten lings are on the way. Uh, but queen. speed is like halfway done. That queen just survived. The Zelt's turned around to get rid of those Zerglings. Another Zelt's going to go down to a random Zergling for no reason at all. Just got another warp cycle in. All right. These queens have to die right now. I don't there think goes make one. It to the there goes the other. And at this point, Jeff basically just has to slowly start oh, warping in units. Oh, the spine crawler finishes, but it does get taken out immediately. Another yeah, warp game. in here. This is just too much here for Jeff. Jeff. That's game. I think, but two links! Oh my god, Adam, there's two links in the main! There's two! Uh, <laughs> get I wasn't sure if you wanted me to actually get hype for you or not. <laughs> I, I could have. I could have got hype. It would have been wasted hype, but I could have gotten hype but, uh, for you. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like Penguin will be able to take this when she. Oh fails. no, he got called out on it! Jeff knows, who, Jeff knows who's watching at home. Yep. When Cheese Fails, Season Damn. 10, you know Episode what, 7. Jeff is losing a lot of job probes here, but I just don't think that Penguin has enough here. Yeah, no, no, it's not going to, no. There is, there is, there is no here. universe you know in which, you, in which Penguin, Penguin is wins. Penguin is just saying, you know what, F it, I'm just going to uh, destroy your main here. No, nah, that's, that. well, again, try Maybe. as you might. <laughs> Bye. This could actually be interesting. If he's able to kill every one of Jeff's buildings before Jeff kills all of his buildings, uh, he just good luck. Be able to. As there are pylons everywhere. Yes, this is true. But these are the last probes here. There's and not he's got any, zealots uh, in his in, in his main still. So that's, seven supply. That's uh, good luck at Batman. Sickest Jadong micro incoming. Oh, so good. But no, um, I think that Jeff uh, is pretty well off in this game. I this can't be entertaining anymore, here. guys. Sorry, this game is just... It's, the it's, last building I've here. got nothing left. And, oh, no. The hatchery. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> that Forgot troll. about the base that was in his base. Troll sentry. Uh, that, that happened. There's a lot of lings, though, here. Yeah, no, he's got the one hatchery left. The Zerglings are just going to be going to work. It doesn't no much matter. Before. Because in order... Because you know, Jeff's going to come back up the map now. And in order for the Zerglings to actually be able to kill anything, they're going to have to get past yes, that the army. units That, that, that of whole Mr. You know, army black. thing that Jeff has. Yeah, that's that's a thing that happened. Uh, where he has 37 to Penguin 6. 6. Uh, and, uh, yeah, no, that's, that's... These sentries could, could get a little have a head start on this hatchery, but it doesn't seem like they really want to. Oh, uh, Last lings. There it is. G. G. Just game. Just game. Well played. Not a great game, just game. Just game. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Wow. That's... Damn. Very interesting strategy there for a Damn. Penguin. Bring home that medal for mm -hmm. Lag TV. That medal is ours. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see that medal. Uh, that is that is now what three to two. I believe so in this uh, best two. of seven series. This so is if Jeff wins the next game. Be Penguin's up against the rope. I think he needs a, a better shoulder massage this time. Yeah, a little deeper in the tissue. Link with that shoulder massage. You know get that, that game winning shoulder massage. Loosened up. Get Incredible. Loosened up. Incredible. So Penguin's kind of deviating from what he was doing, you know, I'm thinking like... That was a different game for Penguin. He's been doing something different every game, though. Too. Yeah, that was a play that I would have expected to see in the first game when he had the advantage the of the game. Exactly. Doing it there where the, the series is tied up is, mm -hmm. is a, a risk that I don't think he needed to take. He didn't need to. Uh, I, think, I think, you know, as I say this, uh, while Jeff has his, his construction worker 
headphones off. Uh, I think I think for Penguin, the more effective thing there was he had the right idea in terms of he needed to get earlier aggression. Yep. But he should not have expanded. Uh, he, he should not have proxy. in the game before. Uh huh. Expanded while while doing the aggression or proxy yeah, to try to some expand. Yeah, kind of all in. Use you know, that hatchery as his. If it was more base. of an all in, then that would have been would possibly have been more, more uh, effective. Oops, sorry about that. But I think I think aggression is the right idea, not a proxy hatch. Yes, especially against that's, the gateway. That's a um, bit. That's a bit. That's a bit much. It was tough. Um, against a force vast expand, it's actually really nice. Mm. But Jeff was like, you know, man, you just this is my territory. You know, one this base. My house. Got four gates. My four house. Gates. Can we get back to the chat for one quick second here? I just want to see all of, all of our lovely viewers in chat. How y'all doing? Seven hundred and twelve. Wow! Dear God! Wow! That is impressive. Give it up, Frag for that charity, man. We got Frag a great charity. event here. Can we give me a cheer in the crowd here locally? Here that we whoop, get. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Hi, pipe, 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 pipe. I have no idea if they actually heard Starcraft that. Starcraft two fighting. Fighting. <laughs> All right, we got back into some StarCraft. We got Whoa, what is quite po wow the biggest. Well, I don't know if it's the biggest, but it is a big. It's map. one of the largest maps. It's like a war shot blot test or whatever it's they're called, <laughs> basically uh, kind of deal. This is a uh, this is an interesting pick uh, for Penguin. For Penguin. Uh, and one that, in, when it comes to the mid map, is actually I believe in favor of Jeff, if only just because of uh, the, the the narrow pathways that they've got yes, here. Yes, there's a lot. Uh, and the thing so too is uh, the the bases are pretty easily easily defended. Yeah, you know? which is not something that you want to give Protoss the exactly. ability to do. I mean, it looks like the third might be a bit of a, a pain to defend mm -hmm. uh, as a Protoss against a Zerg here. And he has options. But he has another option. He doesn't necessarily need to go with uh, with that uh, original third. And also on this map, again, as anything, a two base Protoss is always a scary thing. Yes. So. Um I'm wondering what uh what what Penguin's game plan is here. He picked one of the biggest maps on the ladder pool, mm. and uh, I'm the actually last surprised game this was isn't a very Force Cross. One. Yes, me too. I'm surprised that's not Force Crossed. Actually, yeah. what's up with that? What's, what's up what's with that? <laughs> what's up with that? Frank for cancer. Yeah, we gotta be getting the we gotta be getting the Force Cross. Now this is now you can ignore everything that I pretty much said earlier about uh, about a lot of the choke points because really. Uh -huh. They no longer matter. Exactly. Uh, it's basically... Uh, you Free game. It's going to be a really open... Uh, the mid-map doesn't even matter. You might as well just cut this map in half. Might as well. And you know what? Imagine if that... W it would be like... <laughs> Imagine be, that map, though. Well, it'd be kind of... Well, it'd, be, it'd be like the size of... What was that really small map in like the first ladder pool? Oh. That was, um, Steps of War. Steps of War. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. A, a fantastic map, if you will. That was during the times where Blizzard wasn't trying to make every StarCraft game 45 minutes. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, got to start small, you know. Now it's now it's all. They, macro did, they didn't have the, the technology time. for big maps back then. No, no, no. And they didn't have the technology for land, and they still don't. It's <laughs> uh, unfortunate. Welcome to 1998. Oh snap! Wow. All right. So he's going for this again. On a scale of one to what the hell? <laughs> this is up there around Richard Simmons, I would say. <laughs> I'm not entirely following. The, the process here. This is again in a game you know, where though. he doesn't necessarily want to be risky. He's gonna he's you know, going for the I'm liking it. I like it. Six lings on the way again. It was really close last time. I'm wondering if he's gonna be putting that uh, hatchery at his natural. Because remember we were talking about uh, if he wasn't to take that natural and just invest in all in bunch of links, tons and tons of links. And if he doesn't do that, then he's going to have more units to be able to uh, to accomplish this with. Yeah. This is actually, well, if the map wasn't so big, I have seen Zergs in the past put this down and walk a queen from the main oh, true, yes. to get down here for a second queen earlier. Uh, I doubt that's going to happen here, as this map is just this side of the size of China. Yes. So we're not going to see that happen. However, we are not also seeing an expansion coming out early at Penguin, all, exactly. which means we're going to have much more Zerglings on the field. Uh, this uh oh, he does take it. He takes it. This is this is. Uh, you know what though? This doesn't look very good. It's already half oh, down. Oh, cancel. Yeah, he's okay. got it. Okay, he's right at the last cancel. minute, he does cancel. Joking. <laughs> <laughs> penguin, no. Pe oh, penguin. <laughs> gotcha. Got Psych. You, gotcha, bitch. Psych. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. Well played. Well played there by our, uh, our Zerg player. You thought I was. You, you, you thought I was proxy hatching. Gotcha. gotcha. Got him. He's really acting. He showed him. So Man, uh, Oscar-worthy performance. For very. Penguin. Oh, beautiful. Get well on that done. IMDb. 
Oof. Uh, you know what? The, well, what that all that does for for Penguin now is it just all it means that it has forced some uh, some earlier units for Jeff. Yes. Which means uh, that he's not going to be able to you know move into his own expand earlier. He's not going to. He's going to be a bit thrown off. Mm -hmm. But of course, it also heavily throws himself off in yeah. that he just wasted all of that time with the proxy hatch. He did. Um, but you know, um, I think that. Uh, the fact that I'm sure Jeff did not want to make these two gateways before is uh, natural. No. So um, if Penguin is able to scout that, this is going to be a four gate. He sees a ton of units. He sees the pylon at the front. So that might tell Penguin that, okay, uh, Maximus Black is going to be expanding now. Mm. But I don't think Maximus Black is going to expand, Adam. Uh, well? I think he's going to four gate straight up. History would show. <laughs> Probably not. However, in this tournament, that goes out the window. Yes. So... There is a possibility that Jeff sits back at it and says, all right, I have four gateways. I can defend any lings and stuff. I might just take a base to try and stay up. But it looks like he's instead going to go for the pressure, which I agree with, Very, as Penguin yeah. is really, really going to have a hard time defending much, given how far he knows, back he He looks. knows what kind of trouble he's potentially in. And uh, Spinecrawler on the high ground is really nice, especially nice because place. there is no Mothership core for that vision. So Absolutely. that Spinecrawler is going to go untouched for pretty much the whole duration of this battle here. But the question is, does Penguin have enough? Three Spinecrawlers and a lot of Lings is really all you need to hold a 4-gate. Three but Queens, Transfuse, a lot of Zerglings, and a high ground Spinecrawler. Yeah. Oh, oh Penguin is getting Jeff a little brave here. Going to win this I don't know if I agree with this. Um, I think that he, he, has, he doesn't have to fight. He he I mean? Well, yeah, he doesn't have to. He didn't have to at all. I mean, yeah. he can he can throw away some zerglings and it's okay. But uh, he's also trying to do a little a little cute attack down here, getting rid of a pylon if possible. He might not even get rid of that. No, and this is forcing warpins at home, which is very important. Which is important for him certainly. And Jeff's just going to go home. I I like that Jeff is going you back know? here. Yeah, the spine crawlers are just too much. But we look at the supply, 42 wow. to 32. Um, penguins. He hasn't saturated his natural at all because of that attack. No. But it uh, looks like we're going to see a Nexus come down here. And boys and uh, girls, we have ourselves a macro game. Another macro game against all odds this All summer. the odds. Mr. Maximus Black stars in. <laughs> macro game. Macro Starcraft. <laughs> uh, no, that's, that's actually a smart move here. I agree with it. Um, mm -hmm. Penguin has to keep up with uh, maybe one or two Ling run-bys to see if he can... Uh, he needs to keep... Because what's the worker count right now, our fine cameraman? Uh, it's it's relatively even. Yes. Penguin wants to be ahead of him. He does. And so he's going to want to maybe try and pick off a couple here or there, but he's not going to have a very easy time getting past the giant walled units. Yeah, that's uh, uh, <laughs> a lot there for those Zerglings to try to deal with. They're going to just kind of poke around, see if he's uh, expanding. He has confirmed it, I believe. The Overlord is in the back, kind of just kicking it, chilling. Uh-oh, he's going to be oh, He's going to go in. He, he wants gonna to see what he's got that coming. expansion and see what is at the front, but uh, I don't know. What do no. you think? Uh, well, well, I think well, I think he's just going to sack this overlord in the hopes of seeing some sort of tech. He, at the very least, will now confirm for sure, like you were saying, that there is an expand happening here. And he does see the robo, which would not, which would you know, make me believe that Penguin might even try grabbing a third right yes. now. Uh, he's got a big queen count. He's got a couple of spying crawlers. Uh, he might feel comfortable. He's got his roach warren coming. He might feel comfortable grabbing a third. Uh, but it's it's hard to say because after. <laughs> A after seeing also how many units Jeff has, he has to be yeah. careful as to just how aggressively he goes about his expanding. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering what kind of, uh, well, we see the Robo coming out for Jeff here, uh, for Maximus Black. And I'm wondering if he's going to go uh, for some kind of immortal push or will he go straight into that Robo? Um, the fact that he hasn't taken any gases at his natural makes me think that he may just decide to go for some immortals and do some kind of push to either deny the third um, or just straight up kill him. Like yeah, anyway. it's, it's, well... I mean, I'd like to see, uh, one, he's going to get some observers out of there, and he's going to see what he's got coming up the pike. He's obviously going to get the first Immortal. You always want to get that Immortal anyway. Yep. It's never a bad thing to have the Immortal at this point in the game. Uh, Especially with Penguin well. going for Roaches as well. Exactly. It's always a safe, a safe bet. Get a couple of Whoa, uh, we got ourselves a little bit of run by. Yep, and these things are going to be able to scout everything in the main. Oh, uh, damn it, Bob. Bob. Come on. Bob. <laughs> Eat more. <laughs> Need to fill that whole thing up there. That metabolism oh. of Bob is just too much. Too, too good. But um, I don't know. These lings are actually just going to get out. A little bit of practice might pick off a sentry. Oh, nice force field. Going to trap these lings in here. Valiant and, uh, effort. You see that little bit of that pop and locking from that other zealot with yep. that force field. That was pretty pop cool. Pop and locking from the zealot. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The zealots have a slash dance command, don't they? I, th uh, yo, I think they do. They do. What they is do. this? They, they do the sickest dance, man. Do they? You know what? Yeah. The, Marine, the Marines have a Somebody go to the, Jeff's, the uh, well, to his keyboard and just 
hit enter just and hit slash enter dance. and slash dance that. I don't think he'll mind. That's not used enough, by the way. It really isn't. People need to be BM and start a little more. Just just, just dance in people's faces. You know, I mean, the world would be a better place if just there was more dancing. I would too. love. I would absolutely love to see that stuff. But, uh, uh, this lane is going to get a bit more scouting. As I expected, we actually have the third coming down here for Penguin. Yep. He's going to do it now. He's, he gets his uh, roaches out of the field. Jeff continuing to build up his immortal count. That was actually pretty good for Penguin in that he got a lot of scouting information. He got mm -hmm. everything he needed. Yes. He saw absolutely everything. Yep. And so he's going to be... Did he pick uh, up the sentry too? He did get the sentry. He got the sentry as so. well. He uh, The sentry, with a solid effort, tried to he force did. field himself away. Didn't quite uh, no. pull it off. It's but, okay. Uh, Jeff's getting a lot of gas as well. And he's getting. The, uh, that's what I was going to say Robotics next. Bay. I was going to be surprised if he didn't get the Colossi earlier this game than last. Jeff loves his giraffes. Does Jeff he loves not? it. Hey, who doesn't Ooh. love giraffes? I love giraffes, man. Giraffes are phenomenal. I agree. Uh, they are a great unit when they aren't, you know, making terrible pathing choices. <laughs> yep. They are phenomenal. Uh, and on this map, there is, you know, uh, quite a bit of high ground. Yes. Good places for them to escape to. Good places for them to stand and get. Uh, get some uh, some freebie attacks in, and of course against a Zerg, no matter what you've got, pretty much anytime you can get you know three Colossi out or more, mm -hmm. you're you gonna know, have um, a good time. Penguin is doing this borrow play again. I like it a lot. Getting the uh, tunneling claws. One one is about to finish, and he's gonna stick on this Roach push. Uh, I mean this Roach tech. Now Roaches are really good in high numbers. Uh, if you can catch the two base Colossus push hmm. on creep. Um, with sentries, it gets a little bit tricky because if uh, their force fields are really nice, the roaches can't get in a position, and the uh, giraffes pretty much just exactly pays everything. I mean, that's that's what I was saying. If this if this game had taken place cross position, this would have been a much different game, and Colossi would have been almost a, 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 a yeah. certainty no matter what, just because of the choke points. Yeah. There are still absolutely some great choke points here for the Colossi right. to work with. Uh, Look at we're this. The sentry warp in is going to wall, wall off that He's ramp. Wall off that ramp. Warping warp a bunch of zealots. zealots. Here we go. This but is this, this is this is kind of like classic Protoss play. We're yeah. gonna get another sentry in here to get another force field. Uh oh, down. one sentry does get picked off. And now some nice kiting here. Alright, he's gonna leave it up in there and he's oh, gonna drop it. He really so nice that he can here, uh, drop that force field. There it is. This is I remember when I first saw this happen and I almost uh, I got so giddy. Yeah. When it's I first so cool. saw this done. I think it's one of the coolest things, uh but you know what though, Penguin with this burrowed uh, well too too bad the other sentry got killed. And there's no observer here to kill any drones. He's gonna get a queen! No! Yeah. We got a job! Yanks the queen! Bob! What is wrong <laughs> with you, fool? I had one job. You had one yes, you had one job, exactly. Unfortunately, Bob. He's fired. Hot damn, are you kidding he's me? He's fired, man. He literally he We're was gonna just, need to get he, gym, he man. was beating the crap out of that queen and said, you know what? You're done. And then he just walked away. He just said JK. Decided, JK hey. and just walked yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, JK. This is what Jeff should have done. Just Joking. JK. <laughs> Joke, joking. You keep your queen. You can keep your queen. You thought I was going to kill it? Ah, psych. Uh, you yeah. tell, you, tell your, you know, the rest of your army and family about that. Yeah, I'll exactly. Let you, you well, we're going to have a, a confrontation down here at the bottom. Oh, at the same time back. as another warp in comes here. Yep. But I don't, uh, uh is that... Ramp even uh, walled in yet or no? Uh, doesn't, he, I don't think he's going for that. He's going for the queen. He's going for uh -oh, the Oh, but a sick on with that! Oh, dear. That there goes thing the that you were talking about for that Colossus. And there is nothing here to stop these roaches from getting free reign in this base. And you know what? Any trade here is going to be really, really good for Penguin. Another giraffe is going to go down. Uh, Somebody called the WWF. Man, this is ridiculous. And don't they say that. I still it. consider that wrestling. I do. I'm My brother's a wrestler as well. I'm, I'm very sour about that. I, I don't know. There is there is no universe in which WWF stands, stands for anything other than the uh, World, World Wrestling, wrestling Federa Federation. Yeah, no, World Wildlife. World Wildlife on my ass. I can't believe that. I was very, very I'm uh, rattled about that. Uh, however, he probably, you know who else is salty right now? <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> Jeff is, is super and salty. And a GG is called. Incredible play by Penguin. Thank God we pulled that back around and actually talked about StarCraft. I agree. What was happening. Beautiful timing. Your timing Damn. is impeccable. 3-3. Three, three. Are you kidding me right now? This three, is the fun. Three. This is the ace match. This is it. This is the show. Speaking of ace, is, uh, do we have the I, race I totally to the final countdown right now? Night. Who cares if we do? We're playing it anyway. Make it happen. All right. Make it happen. I want to I wanna get some hair metal. Oh, that's okay. The stream can hear it. These guys can just hum it if they want. Jeff Sauer about that loss. Sorry about the loss. Whoa! Well done. Thank Did that come with the that was Did that come with the tiger? That was us. Oh, okay. That was me. What more can you ask for? 
I don't know. What more can you ask for? Not much. I'm kind of upset that I can't hear this final countdown right now. I can't hear it either. I know, it's unfortunate. You know what? I think the uh, song just got a little bit intimidated by a beautiful duet. Well, why not? I would. I would I would not want to be the final countdown after our rendition of it. (laughs) Nobody nobody on stream could hear the the, uh, the audience here actually coming along with us. For all they know, we were just being completely ridiculous. Just kind of in our all, our own little world. You know world. what? That's kind of the the, the you know the trend here yeah? for me is hey, again again. Like TV has removed all shape. Yes, no shit. I could have done that shit shirtless, and it wouldn't have made a difference. Exactly. <laughs> no difference would have been made. Zero.